Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on IST QB Advanced Test Manager certification. We are getting started with the chapter 6 talking about the test tool and automation and in this chapter we have got four different topics to cover the entire concept that is 6.1 introduction which is actually out of syllabus. It does not have anything much. We do have 6.2 tool selection, 6.3 tool life cycle, 6.4 the tool matrices in regards to the test manager understanding. Now, of course, today we'll be just quickly doing a quick introduction to what exactly test tool and automation chapter is going to consist of and what we have already covered as a part of the foundation. In order to get started, first of all, let me again make a notification here that uh, introduction is not uh, anymore in the syllabus. So you will not find much detail in the syllabus as well if you look at the official part of it. So 6.1 is out of scope and you don't really have to worry about this. So that's the reason I'm keeping it brief and simple, but of course, providing you the necessary introduction to this chapter. Now, this chapter is basically all about the test tools and the automation concept that what kind of automation can be basically applied at the organization level and what the test manager has to do at this point of time. And that's what the entire chapter will be all about. Talking about the different tools which can be actually applied, how to select a tool and how to make use of it and make great success in terms of measuring the outcomes from the tools. Now, in foundation, we have already covered a lot about it, but at the basic level. That means we did understand what are the different tool types and category. If you remember some of the tools from there, that is test management tool, defect management tool, requirement management tool, performance testing tool, and whatnot. So in foundation, we have already covered a lot of our tools in different categories. That means tools for the test management, tools for the static testing, tools for dynamic testing, tools for logging and execution, and uh, that you just have to recall. If in case required, you can quickly go to the you know card on the top and just visit that basic tutorial from my foundation level syllabus. And that will give you a crisp in information that what we have already covered. Not only that, we also covered about the tools which are specifically made for developers. And here we will be elaborating a little more on that and the benefit and the risk of using test tools or using test automation. It's not that easy that you can just go to Google and uh, download a tool, install it, and we start making use of it. When it comes to the organization, it requires you to understand and evaluate a lot of considerations before you can actually select a tool for your organization or the process. That's where it makes you important to understand and remember that Implementing a tool is just not a simple task. We do have a certification in ISTQB, which is completely about the test automation solution provider, that is test automation engineer. And that has covered everything end to end that test tool is just not that simple to be implemented. There are a lot of things to be taken care of. And especially when it comes to automation, there are a lot of other things need to be taken care about. So here, being a test manager, you will be further elaborating on this, that what are the tools which are available, what are custom tools, which are in-house tools, why you should go for open source, when you should go for commercial, if in case it is open source, what parameters to consider, when it is commercial, what else to be taken into account, and so on. Also, you'll be understanding a little more about in-depth on the frameworks, that what are data-driven framework, keyword-driven framework, and also understanding more about the matrices which will be helping you. Matrices basically help you to determine at any point of time that how much benefit you are actually achieving even after employing the tool. So if in case you initially thought that there will be benefits, but at certain moment of time, like maybe down the line five years, you are not receiving any more benefits from that, then it's time to retire the tool. So that's where the tool life cycle comes into picture. And the tool life cycle will teach you that what exactly is the journey of the tool within the organization? Is that the tool which you start using today can be used for lifelong? No, of course not. There are things which happens from time to time. And that's where you need to be very importantly taken into account that what is the life cycle of a tool? And the tool matrices will assist you in order to make sure that when it's time to retire a tool. So that's what we just wanted to quickly help you with understanding the introduction on this particular chapter. We'll be moving into the next segment with more details of understanding coming up next. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.